Hello. Here we go. <laughs> Good. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I have here the one and only Georgiana Haynes. Hey, and the marvelous Miss Milagros Garcia. She's joining <laughs> us on our page today. <laughs> So honored to be here with you and everyone that's watching and following our chats. With yeah, guys, thank you guys for joining us for our weekly check-in. It's been different and fun with you guys because we normally do this on our own, like together, but being able to open it up to you guys to include you and even follow along in the comments after because after we post this live, we talk together here with you. You guys can definitely comment in the chat box. We can see it. But then after the video was posted, if you guys are watching at a later time, we could still comment and interact. So it's kind of like an ongoing thing. So don't be shy, join us. It's a conversation between me and Milagros, but it's definitely open to everyone. And for you guys to also learn. So mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy that, that we're able to do this. And, and it's also gonna be on our channels, our YouTube channels. And Georgiana's channel is Georgiana Haynes. Easy to find. <laughs> <laughs> Her name. <laughs> um, my channel is Avon Wings <laughs> or Milagros Garcia. So you can find me through Avon Wings. Um, and today we're going to talk about building um, YouTube channel. Yes. So we have our channels as we just mentioned and we do um, post different content on there but for those of you who maybe haven't posted haven't begun a channel yet or haven't posted or don't even know the purpose or the value of a uh, youtube channel malagos and i are going to be sharing our different perspectives because we both approach it differently but we're going to be sharing some of our different perspectives on um how we use our channels and how we got started with our channel so if you have any questions that you want us to answer here live feel free to type it up in the chat box and we'll be sure to get that to you so millie do you want to since you are like the og of youtube channels <laughs> Like, well, I know I started watching you before I had my own channel. So do you want to start us off with what you got started with or what got you to start a YouTube channel? You have an amazing YouTube channel. Um, and we're we're going to talk about styles here because I know that you have your own style of uh, posting and editing videos. And I have my, my own uh, style. So I'm gonna talk about my style and then you, you can share with everyone. And I can also learn from your style. Because <laughs> that's why we're here to learn yeah. from each other. Learn from both of us. <laughs> um, I started my YouTube channel many, many years ago when YouTube wasn't that popular. Um, and then I, I was thinking about ways to share my talents with baskets, basket making. <laughs> so that's how the whole thing started. Um, it took me about six months to actually post my first video. I was <laughs> totally petrified. <laughs> So uh, finally one day of making the same video over and over again and saying, um, oh my gosh, did I already say this? Because I have made so many videos that I thought <laughs> that I already had said the same thing. So, you know, I finally said, you know, I'm just going to post it and whatever happens. I didn't even look at my YouTube channel at all because i was afraid of the comments <laughs> so i was like oh my gosh well to my um surprise that video started gaining views mm -hmm. thousands of views nice. and they started request that's without me sharing they started requesting more videos mm -hmm. so that that's how i got addicted but let me tell you, um, my style, and we want to talk about the style, my style of leadership. Hello, Selena, you found us. This is the training that I was telling you about. <laughs> um, so yes, the, the, my style is basically to be able to um, post a video or post content 
of any kind, whether it is a video that I that I play without being live or a live video, um, is basically providing content to my YouTube channel because of my uh, limited amount of time that I had. Um, now we have all the time in the world. <laughs> you would think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I know it gets so overwhelming <laughs> working from home. Um, so yes, I basically post in one platform and then post on my YouTube channel. Um, anything that I basically share. So my goal is to provide uh, content all the time to keep my my channels moving. That's why um, you know I'm happy to be able to do these videos with you that I can also put on on my YouTube channel and and add content there for for different you know for the different types of followers because everyone has a way to follow. Uh, someone, some of them have um, the pages, some of them have Instagram, some of them have YouTube channels, and some of them just do it by text. Yeah. So, um, you know, with the YouTube channel, you're able to just text a link, share a link. Yeah. Um, so, share with us your style. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest with you. I, I could tell from your story that when you started out, it was like you wanted to share what you were doing to build your business to help your team. And I I started off not having as clear a direction as as you did. And I when you um, when we were talking earlier about doing this today's video on the topic of how we, you know, comparing our YouTube channels and our styles and stuff, I went back and I looked at some of my old videos. And I I found that I actually started off, I think, more as like a personal development, encouraging sort of training, but not as, you know, this is me training my team. I remember at the time I didn't have a huge Avon team, um, but I wanted to just put out like encouraging messages to, to people out there, um, you know, beginning with my team, but other representatives, because I had watched representatives like you and other, other people. I found that for me, I was one of those people who, was learning from watching YouTube videos. So it was that time, like you said, where YouTube was had just gotten started. You guys had sort of um, established the the playing field, and I found that I was doing a lot of my trainings through YouTube for my you know own personal growth and development. So I wanted to kind of just pay it forward to add my little tidbits or of, of experience and advice into that mixture. But I never really saw myself as like a a trainer or a leader. I was honestly just sharing my own perspectives. So my, my initial videos, I they were really just like musings. I would sit down in front of the camera and I would talk a little bit about um, basically my own personal experiences, stuff that I was um, learning and growing through myself, you know, just sharing it. So if anybody else was going through something similar, they could find someone to watch and, you know, kind of relate to. So in the beginning stage, I was just, you know, like, I don't know, how old was I? Not technically teenagers, but in that age, we were like connecting on YouTube. You would connect with other people who were sharing similar experiences. I was connecting with people. So I was sort of emulating my role models. But then I I found that I liked doing unboxings. And I think that was the generation of unboxings. You know, there's this, yeah. phase. <laughs> there was this huge unboxing phase. And I, like I said, I, I tell you guys all the time, I've always loved getting my Avon product shipments, whether it's my products or products for my customers. I love opening the box, going through the stuff, seeing all the new things. And I just shared that experience. So I did a couple of unboxing videos and that transitioned into haul videos. Like at the time, like unboxing and hauls were what you did. And you know, what a lot of people were doing on YouTube. And I, um, I was doing, you know, I just, I did the same thing. I just to share, you know, look at what we have to, um, because there were all these other companies and brands out there and I didn't really see anybody showing what Avon had available. So I just decided to do that. And then, that kind of grew into i still don't like to call them tutorials i prefer to call them get ready with me they they're just like you know me playing in the makeup me trying different looks I trying different products, trying on the clothing so it, from 
it, it sort of changed. Like in the beginning, it was just like, okay, here are my thoughts. More of like a, a public, um, not memoir is not the right name, but like a public recording of my own <laughs> state of mind. And then it trans transitioned into um, unboxings, hauls. And then as I started to use the different products myself, I would share that. So you can go back and you could see how I started to do my makeup and then, you know, my growth over the years in doing makeup. And now I kind of find myself doing more. I did a couple of seasons of like ants trainings. I think I did about three years of training. Um, and that was more, um, again, motivational, um, overcoming obstacles, overcoming objections, because for me, those are the things that I had difficulty and struggle with in my life. So if I found a solution, I would put it out there to share with others. So if someone else was going through that, they would be encouraged by it. And then now I'm kind of just doing more um, like get ready with me videos, these trainings that I'm doing here with you. Um, but I found that one, it has to be flexible. It's hard to just pick a super small niche and just stay with it. Like my niece is is beauty and fashion and motivation. Like that's where I live. Um, what, my age what life. finds you when I yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what inspires me. <laughs> I I find that it's changed. Like it's hard to. I wouldn't recommend anybody just say, okay, I'm gonna do this one teeny tiny microscopic element that one thing alone and stick with it because after a while you know if you're no longer interested in it you don't want to feel like you're stuck in that thing you you know there is some fluidity and flexibility a lot of um youtubers that i've watched over the years who maybe started out with makeup they expanded into fashion and travel but i think it became more of a lifestyle atmosphere so it's our makeup our lifestyle behind the scenes and now we're getting into that phase of vlogging um I like you. you, too. you of too. Guys. I haven't told anybody this. Nobody knows this. But <laughs> I last, the year before last, I actually started to vlog. I have like daily videos of my life and I haven't posted them. I recorded them. They're on my computer. <laughs> it's terrible. But I, I just. Good. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know why. A part of me is like, I. I I love to post the edited video, and we'll talk about that a little bit more, but I also hate editing. So <laughs> you know, if it's a daily vlog, like 24, 12 or 24 hours, it definitely needs to be edited, and I just never got around to it. But um, it's you know on my list of things to do or try, but um, it, it changes, it's fluid. So I like that you shared that you start off at baskets, and then you put it out there, and then you know, as people start to re request more training, then you transition into the training period because it it kind of shows me that you can't just you know you got to give yourself the grace and flexibility to grow with your channel. Yes, and you know, I always tell you that if you do your live videos, you don't have to edit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of my aunt's trainings, those were all live videos that I did on Facebook. I record them on Facebook, like how we do um, these streams. And then I would just share them to YouTube. It, YouTube became sort of an archive. So all the videos that I, uh, videos, trainings I did for my team on Facebook, on Zoom, um, whatever other platform we were doing, I would just kind of archive it on YouTube. So it would live there. And if anyone else came along or if any of my team members came along years later, they could be able to watch. But I found that it was mostly like, friends, um, other representatives that were, were watching the videos. And when we got to conference and we met people, they would say, you know, I didn't know you from your videos. And I was just like, people watch my videos? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing happened to me. <laughs> yeah, <it's so> weird. <laughs> but I, think, I, I think we kind of get into it with two ideas that I feel like they need to be debunked. Like one, you can't get into it expecting that what you start to do is going to be what you do forever you gotta you know expect to grow just like you're growing as a person your channel is going to grow and change and then two i would say don't do it for people watching i don't i would love to know what you think but those would be my two yes i agree um when you know when you open up a channel and and um you know, you, you could get discouraged about the amount of people that are watching your videos. Yeah. It's, it's not, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, I remember when I started doing my live videos on YouTube, I had um, very, even if, even with the subscribers that I had, it was 
still, you know, not the amount of, of uh, viewers that were live with me. So then, um, you know, I started doing doing them more and and then I stopped. But when I was doing them, I started getting more people because they were getting the notifications and they saw the commitment for me to be live with them. And then I stopped and this, I started them back up again and the same thing happened. So, um, you know, some of the things that I would like to share for what you just shared now about uh, being stressed out about the viewers is that, you know, like you said, uh, don't do it so that people can watch you. Do it so that you can put a content out there that can benefit other people. And then what helps me is, for example, I don't get to see who's commenting on here unless I grab my phone. But, um, you know, I like to believe that I have like a full room full of people when in reality, you just don't know that. Uh, mentally, you want to believe that you're doing a, a meeting, a live meeting for everybody, um, even if you uh, don't have the, viewer, the viewers yet. So what do you think? Oddly enough, I'm the opposite. Like, I always <laughs> just imagine that you and I are sitting together and just talking like, you know, like we normally do. And like, I, I could see the comments of everyone on my desktop because I'm on my PC. But I, I think of it as like we're having a conversation and then a friend might pass by and join the conversation. <laughs> like, you guys say hi <laughs> when you post the question. I, I, I feel like for me, because when I start off with the mindset that I'm doing it for a whole audience, there are times where I've done a stream and there was like nobody on or there's one person on. And I found that as, if I watched that, I would get discouraged. And sometimes the message that I wanted to share, you know, I'd have been a good message. It might have been something that somebody would have found useful. But I found that because my mindset was now, oh, my gosh, nobody's watching me. I'm by myself. Nobody's here. I'm talking to myself. I took <laughs> away from <laughs> <laughs> I learned to just talk to myself. So I would, you know, do an hour of training. They were really just my musings as if I was just like sitting in my room. I don't know if you watch TV, but there's sometimes um, people who are doing documentaries or my favorite, because I'm a huge nerd, don't judge me, Star Trek, when they keep their daily log. <laughs> Look. She comes back. <laughs> but you know, like um, captains and um, people in that type of, professional field that need to keep a log, they would do their daily log and they would kind of summarize either their day, their events, their activities. For me, it was summarizing my my growth process, my struggles, my obstacles, and how I overcame them. And I was just happening to share that with the rest of the world. So off more for me. <laughs> that is awesome. See how everyone See <laughs> thinks differently. It's like, in the contrary, I like to feel like I have a whole theater full of people. Just that I'm doing a, a large training, so I get I get motivated and I get articulate and I, and I get oh look at this and this is a great product and you know it, it it motivates me to to visualize that there are actually instead of instead of me being by myself thinking that I'm by myself I have a whole theater. <laughs> It depends. Like if it's a training, then yes, I imagine my team members watching in the future. And then I try to imagine like not so much the people who are on my team now, but like if I were talking to a future new representative who maybe has never done a training with me before and doesn't know the, the lingo and the terminology. So it helps me to break it down so I'm not using all these terms that might be above the head of someone who's just getting started out. So, uh, okay, for trainings, yes, I imagine future <laughs> imaginary people. <laughs> so what would be a tip that you can give someone who is starting and it's afraid to uh, post their first video um, share what would be your your um, your tip, and then I, I can share what would be my tip after. I would say, first of all, just do it afraid. Do it afraid is like my, if I could have a huge hashtag, that would be it. 
Um, but you know, you just have to do it because you'll find as you do them, they'll get better. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I, just to throw myself under the bus, go back and watch my initial videos. Some of them are pretty bad. <laughs> like, I've had terrible lighting. I've had like my camera fall down during live streams. I had you know disconnects. <laughs> It, it oh, happened. Oh, <laughs> see, like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens. It happens to the yeah. best of us. If you are expecting your video to be perfect the first time you do it, it's not going to be. And even if you get it perfect a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, the landscape of videos is completely going to change. So your perfect video won't be perfect anymore. You'll always go back to old videos and look at it and say, what was that? What's going on with my lighting? But I, you know, that being said, there are a couple of things that you can do to help your video um, look a little bit better. Um, I rehearse, but not like in front of a mirror rehearse. I kind of write out a, a script for myself, like bullet points, usually two or three topics that I'm going to be covering just to help myself stay on track because I will ramble. And if you watch some of my old videos, you'll see a lot of that. <laughs> but I like to do like a bullet bullet um, bullet list of what my topic is going to be. You know, it helps to have a, a main topic and then I'll do like two or three bullet points of stuff that I'm going to talk about. Then I, um, for technical stuff, you want to make sure that you have good lighting. Right now I'm sitting in front of a window and you can even see like up to here, I've got like great lighting and then it kind of gets darker down here. But um, that's because my computer is in front of me. But this is more of an informal situation, so I don't mind. But usually you want to make sure that you have nice lighting. You don't have to have the ring lights and the, the, the down lights and all these expensive camera equipment. If you could find yourself in front of a window with your computer, you'll be just fine. Um, also having a good camera. Most days, most cameras these days on your phone is, is perfectly fine. You know, we're at that generation now where the camera, the capability of our modern cameras has been so good that a camera phone will do it. You don't need to go out and buy an expensive camera, but make sure that your lens is clean. It's like a small tidbit, but you know, just, you know, clean off your camera lens. That's important. <laughs> it's, it's tiny and most of us don't really think about it, but it'll make a huge difference in the quality of your video, as will the lighting. When your cameras pick up better lighting, it'll track you better, you'll come out cleaner and crisper, and nobody wants to watch a blurry video. Also, that being said, I don't have my phone with me, I do. So normally, so you guys can see my phone. Normally when I record, you might see, I tend to hold the camera like up and out because then I'll lift my face, get that light in, and have the camera in front of me. Please don't do the videos like this. I, I see a lot of people recording their videos from here where it's just like all nose. Nobody wants to see up your nose. Nobody wants to see all this chin. Don't record your videos. Like, <laughs> I know like when you're talking on speakerphone, you want to hold the phone out here. But when you're recording, try to like just elevate your phone a little bit. It makes a huge difference. So either eye level or like slightly above, but don't, don't do any of these. Those are my tips. <laughs> I think, I think that I did um, I did uh, something similar yesterday <laughs> where I had my phone like here and then my my husband told me um, I'm gonna give you a tip I said okay he told me he says um, you're getting too comfortable with the video playing <laughs> you need to put some makeup on or something <laughs> <laughs> like Okay, thank you. And then he said, I don't know. Carlos, he always is like, okay, look, I'm gonna tell it to you straight. Those are like the best friends to have. Like all of us <laughs> need that friend who's just like. <laughs> so I agree with you with the, um, the the phone looking. Yeah, I had all of this area here <laughs> on my face. Like really, look at it. The difference between like. <laughs> Here you see like all the lighting that I get versus here. It's just totally it. yeah, I'm walking around my house. All wow, my it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Unless you're demonstrating our a new like lift cream, you don't need to be under here. <laughs> I was very pretty yesterday. <laughs> Um, I want to share my my uh, tip sharing is going to be about um, producing your first video. You share a lot of great tips on you know how to 
you know, start them, just do the videos, just, you know, work on just getting it done. But um, this is for you that don't know what kind of content you're going to do. So my number one tip is to pick a topic or pick a product. Um, good idea. <laughs> So you have your favorite product there that you've now gotten me addicted to. <laughs> this is like the best thing ever. <laughs> I've been using it. I used it after you recommended it. And yes, I do love it. So it's amazing. So I'm going to give you for the ones who don't want to show their face. Okay. Yes, we have. <laughs> We have those shy representatives, and I can see myself in that category. I was definitely in that category of what am I going to do? I didn't think that I was uh, providing a good content. So number one, be yourself. Yeah. And pretend that you are just talking to a customer that's sitting across. And if you don't want to show your face because your camera is shy, then I recommend that you place the brochure and the product mm. right on top of it and then point your phone down like this. Let's and see talk about the benefits. Exactly. Talk about the benefits of the product that you're showing. And be yourself. You can even read it from a script. You can even read it from another book. Look at that. We got Thank practice. You. Thank you, Georgiana. Teach us, really teach us. I'm glad I don't have on pajama pants today. And um, there you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. See you guys exactly how Georgiana is doing. And talk about the product. Talk about what it does for you. Um, it's it's all in the in the brochure. But if if you're able to look at the brochure and say, okay, let me look at that product. That's the anti pollution. I love it. Okay, yeah. So if you could give me the page, mm -hmm. I that's can open it for you, and you can talk through if I can open it. That's an anti pollution mask right here. Yeah. So um, it says, okay, so. It's a um, charcoal mask in a unique no mess no mess stick, right? It's all here, you guys. Um, charcoal mask stick. This combo of charcoal and kaolin clay helps absorb toxins and soothe irritated skin. I need to go this way. <laughs> I'm also like trying to take off the plastic protector and my nails aren't getting it. So we're both. <laughs> there we go. So okay. yes, yeah, Suzanne, I see you're here. Now I can see the comments. Thank you guys. Oh, I love it. See how you're um how you are showing it just in your the back of your, your hand. And you know, mm -hmm. people are gonna inquire about the benefits. If you go to your website, to your own website, I love that. Georgina. Teamwork um, makes the dream work. <laughs> see, you don't have to show your face. I'm showing my face, and Georgiana is showing the product, is, is uh, showing uh, what it looks like, how it looks like on your hand, the benefits without showing her face. So, that to me is a tip that uh, most of the people who are camera shy. Like I was, I was camera shy, but I love money more than shyness. <laughs> <laughs> so I like if I I'm gonna love make, honesty. <laughs> if I'm gonna make money, increasing my team sales and my customers are buying for me, you know what? I need to do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> But it's going to get easier, you guys. I'm telling you. It smells good, too, right? Yeah. I, I just you saw me. I just opened it. I just got it. Uh, I, I used that when it first came out, the mask. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's even though it's charcoal, it really opens up your pores. 
and mm -hmm. and and your skin um your your skin it's it's so much brighter so um, yeah. do it on i do it on a clean face and i wash my face i let it i let it sit um i either watch tv or um do something around the house but when i'm using the mask i like to lay down because i like to feel like mm -hmm. I'm at this yeah kind of just sits on you gotcha. uh, <laughs> hanging out there yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's funny, we're, we're so opposite in some things, but we always find like a medium to come together and work together. Me, I love masks like this because it's like, you can see it's on my hand. It's not going to slide off. Mm -hmm. I like stuff that I could put on and move around because I am never just lying still. I'm that person who's like, okay, let me clean the floor while my mask is on. Let me <laughs> just. That's what you would do? Always. I'm either like working, I'll put my mask on before I clean the bathroom, before I clean, because I feel like those are the things that I hate doing. And if I'm going to do them, I feel like I need to be doing something else at the same time. So oh. I've got my personal development on the radio <laughs> or, um, you know, something encouraging on the radio. I'm cleaning, my mask is on, or, you know, I'm doing like the hair removal. I'm doing something. I can never just do one thing. Oh. You have to try the spa experience. I get like anxiety my family's like why can't you just sit my mom was like you don't know how to rest just sit there <laughs> yeah and you know it's the best part is when you fall asleep and then you know the night you just take it not that one i will not fall asleep with that mask no <laughs> but the one that yes that you just take off and then you're like halfway asleep and the tv is, is and then you take it off and put it aside and then you just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's a great tip i like that tip for people who are shy because not everybody is comfortable either doing the public speaking or um recording themselves and that's a great way to get used to just talking on camera mm -hmm. and then you know showing something and i like that you said to have something because sometimes you may not feel like okay maybe i don't have anything to talk about what do i share how you know my thing that I, my question to myself is like, why do people want to watch me? And I, I find that if you're talking about a product, it takes the attention off of you. And with Avon, there's always a new product coming out. I mean, this is a product that just, it's been out for a couple of months. It's not brand new and we can still introduce it and talk about it because, you know, other people haven't seen it. So you can find any product, products you love, products that are new, products that are coming out. Uh, you know, there's always a variety. That's a really great tip. And um, you can also, thank you, Georgiana, and you can also talk about the, the brochure sales without even looking at your feelings, you know? It's opening the book and saying, okay, okay, let's talk about what's in Campaign 9 today. Yeah. And, um, you know, Mother's Day is coming. How about a gift? Um, you know the whole thing i think that most people are afraid to um you know to put themselves out there because number one when they put, put their first video they get no responses they get no uh, likes they get no views don't worry about that Got consistency i have gotten some new descri uh, subscribers now because i'm more consistent with posting the videos and i have two channels that i have to maintain i have the avon wings and i have the tv latino avon wings which is the spanish channel so when i post in the spanish channel they ask me are you posting in the english so i have to I just need to learn spanish <laughs> yeah that won't be a bad idea <laughs> uh, you know just create the content, right, Georgiana? And yeah. have fun with it. Be yes. yourself. That's the most important thing. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, regardless of how amazing your topic is, how great the product is, it's not gonna come across, you know, you're not gonna enjoy doing it, so you're not gonna continue. People are gonna enjoy watching you and you neutralize. It's the best product. I love how great this is because I don't know, it's just you know, a product. 
<laughs> versus, versus. This is the best product I have tried. I just tried it and I am in love with it. You know, <laughs> I mean, don't fake it, but find products that you're genuinely excited about and share that excitement because, you know, the clear eyes guy, I always think of that guy. Wah, 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 wah. You, know? <laughs> you don't want to listen to that. You want to listen to someone who is like, this is something that's cool. You know, don't, if you're not genuinely that person, just be who you are because people will watch for you as well. But you, like Millie said, you got to love it. You got to enjoy it and you got to be yourself. But don't be the clear eyes guy. Yes. <laughs> oh, don't be afraid of mixing up your personal life. Like, um, you know, have videos there of your family and, you know, you go on a Disney cruise, then, you know, you'll get followers that want to be part of your video and then they say oh she's an avon lady right yeah so. but don't do it for the followers only i feel like we are in that stage where people you know a hundred and ten thousand followers and people are buying fake followers and faking the number of views there's like so many cheats and lies and deceptions that are happening but you really have to keep it genuine like I would say your number of followers shouldn't be the deciding factor. It should be just producing good content, stuff that you like to enjoy, something that you yourself would like to watch. Um, and you'll have your own community. I mean, a lot of people are out there gunning for followers and doing some dumb stuff. Like, just legit, I don't know what's going on sometimes when I read about these people doing, you know, stuff that endanger their lives endanger the lives of others just so that they can get followers. You don't want to get into a situation where you're doing that. Um, you want to, you know, keep it positive and keep it encouraging and, you know, be responsible. Cause as uh, when you start to share videos, you're an influencer, you're influencing other people who are watching you. So you don't want to do things that would put other people's life at risk just so that you can get followers either. Yes, um, kind of, you know, disclaimer. <laughs> Oh, we don't need to have disclaimers or an Avon videos. You'll be <laughs> Some products I don't want to see you, you know. <laughs> don't need to see how you use all the products. No, I'm kidding. But, you know, I, I think that's one of the biggest problems because people are like, you know, nobody will watch me. I'm not going to have 100,000 followers. I don't have 100,000 followers. That's okay. I you don't need that. Right. <laughs> and when Malaga started, she didn't have 100,000 followers. So you're not going to start today and have that tomorrow. You may never get it. I would rather have a, and this is a decision I needed to make for myself. I would rather have a small number of followers who are, you know, watching the videos consistently. It, for me, it's more about being able to impact other people's life in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And if there's one, like I always say, if there's one person whose life I've changed, or um, one person that I've encouraged, one person that I've empowered, then I've done my job and I'm happy with it. But I, if I have a billion followers and none of their lives are actually affected by me, if they never actually watch my videos, then what's the point? Exactly. Share you guys, share the videos, um, our video with your team. Um, and um, maybe they can take this training that we are giving you today, um, ask ask questions. Hello, Catherine. We have Catherine, Suzanne, Selena, Selena, Anitra. Anitra. Hello. <laughs> um, if you have any questions for me and Georgiana, um, you know, if, if you're watching the replay after, write out your questions because we're always here to answer them. Uh, we're gonna post this video on youtube um we didn't want to give you all the technical stuff because um i know that um, a lot of the technical stuff you could see it on, on a youtube channel um our idea <clears throat> and i talked nice katherine <laughs> our idea was to build your confidence because i know that there are not many of you um you know the sharing and and um and and doing the um you know the content that you need to to do 
Um, Catherine said, how are you, how do your business is with this virus? Um, let me give you some ideas. Maybe we're going to go a little bit you know, over our time, but, um, video's done. We're going to do Q and A now. But <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give you a few ideas of what I'm doing. Um, so I'm, I'm spending most of my time at home. And um, what I'm what I'm doing is taking a lot of the uh, Avon social posts and putting them in in different platforms. So my number one platform is my pages, my Avon pages. So I picked um, I have um, over ten pages, and um, you know I have my health and wellness. I picked one of my uh, pages. It was my health and wellness to start doing uh, live videos, um, is health and wellness with Milagros. So I do uh, live videos, I've, I have been doing um, push-ups and a chat. So- <laughs> I'm not in those videos. <laughs> so it's, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep everybody active at home, keeping myself active and accountable but some of the things that I'm doing with my customers, I am delivering orders in a public place. So instead of them coming to your house, um, or if they're coming to your house, you can leave the order outside for them to pick up. But um, if they want to meet you halfway, like I live in a remote place, so my customers, not all of them are my neighbors, so I meet them at a public place. And once I have the total, I screenshot the invoice with the total. And then I ask them to put the money in an envelope, the cash money in an envelope. And I let them know to meet them at this time. I give them the bag, you know, enough distance that is safe for them and me. I get the money, collect the money, um, and then I go. So, you know, if, if you, those are some customers that maybe don't want to pay for the shipping. Maybe they don't, um, you know, want to uh, order online. But most of my customers, I have been telling them that I'm not doing deliveries. Uh, so if they can please uh, go online and place their orders. Some do, some don't. But you know what? You have to do what you have to do to play safe and be um, good with, you know, what's going on out there. Because it might be good in some areas, but other areas like Miami, like New York City, um, you know, California, very condensed areas, you're going to have to take the choice to work mostly um, at home. And that's why we're showing you this video because this is something that you could be working on from home. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, um, I would say that videos like this, these are why we're doing these videos because this is how we're building our business in this time. When you do YouTube videos, sharing a product, um, talking through the brochure. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do more product videos at Milagros Encouragement, more um, campaign videos. I'm going to try um, to be consistent with doing that. We're in campaign nine now, which is a brand new campaign. I'm going to see if I can do a video. I'm going to challenge myself. And I'm going to challenge a couple of you guys to do that as well. Um, so, you know, the, the product videos are a great way to share the products with your customers online. Um, my, I've transitioned my customers completely online. I live with seniors, so I'm not taking the risk of going out and meeting with anyone. I'm trying to go out as little as possible, just like for emergencies, shopping. I got to do laundry this week and I'm kind of mad about it because I'm like, I don't want to go outside, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I might be washing in the bathtub. I'm going to figure that out. But, um, I, I've completely transitioned my customers to online. So sharing the digital brochure has been a huge help. Um, just posting, using Avon Social to post the different products, taking pictures of the products, doing my YouTube videos. I just posted a video yesterday, a Get Ready With Me video, um, using some of the Avon products just to do a, a makeup look. Those have been working. So, um, 
you know, just using social media to share and interact with people has been huge for me. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. Um, I know that that uh, you can convert all the customers to online, but it's it's your choice. Catherine was saying that she has to work in the public, so mm -hmm. you are going outside anyways. Yeah, you have to be. My husband is is also essential personnel, so he has to yeah work. So you know just. Be safe out there. Guys. Yeah, when you're if you're going out, I, I still have sample packs. I prepare them wearing gloves and a mask just to make sure that you know I don't breathe on them. But um, when I am out, I leave the sample pack somewhere so that people who are also going through can pick them up. So you can you can work the business in, in a variety of ways. You know what works from Law Girls doesn't work for me. What works for me may not work for Law Girls, but you can learn from both of us and kind of create your own thing. And you might come up with something new and amazing to surprise all of us. Exactly. Yes. In the comments, if you do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let us know. Let us know how we helped you today with with your your comments, with what we shared, with building um, on YouTube your YouTube channel. Um, I can't record samples at work. I don't want to lose my job. Oh, you don't have to. Yeah. We don't want you to lose your job. Like you said, you definitely want to be safe and you want to be responsible. You know your limits and the confines of your, your life situation. So, you know, find a way that's unique to you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everyone is different, you know. Everyone has their own way of reaching out to people. Um, figure out what it is that works for you. Be creative because what we're sharing here applies to us. And what applies to us might apply to other people, and it might not. Yeah. There's a quote that says, out of adversity comes ingenuity. You'll find that when you're in a situation that's limiting or when you're up against an obstacle or something that's difficult. Like in our last video last week, we were sharing about overcoming adversity because adversity is always going to be there. Um, right now we have the virus, but on a regular day, somebody might be like you, unable to share the products on their job. So there's always going to be something that you can view as a, a hindrance, but goal and the key is to find ways around that. Find ways to get to your goal regardless of what's in front of you. So you will, Catherine, you'll find some way. And just what a better way now to just listen to personal development because yeah. if you are not developing yourself mentally, if you're saying, oh, I can't, I won't, I won't be able to, if, if you have these negative thoughts in your head, then it's time to tune in to personal development. And there are many, many, um, one of the most uh, fearless ones that I love to, to listen is Les Brown. Mm -hmm. you know, you've got to be hungry. In times like this, you got to listen to Les Brown. <laughs> <laughs> when push comes to shove, listen to Les Brown. <laughs> Possible. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, you guys. Thank yeah. you so much for for being here with us and Georgiana for taking the time. And we we're here from two different uh, groups. <laughs> Georgiana is half my age, <laughs> but she knew, so you would never know that. <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we're basically showing two different styles. Um, um, and Xiomara, yeah, Xiomara's here too. Um, two different styles of leadership, of sharing, um, you know, from, from a young person uh, point and from someone who is not um, as young. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and just, you know, combine both of our styles together and, and make sure that what you're doing is uh, actively, actively being posted and, and that you're, you have daily posts of your business and that you stay focused, like Georgiana says, um, you know, that you have goals and what a better way to just sit down after this video and start 
writing down your goals, how much money you're going to sell online, how much, how many recruits you're going to bring in. It's free to yes. join now. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, you have a big chance of building your team, building your sales, uh, you know, regrouping what, what it is that you've been wanting to do with your online business and you just haven't had the, um, you know, the push to do it. Well, now is the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love the exercise. That's about as far as I get. You're going to do push up to me today. <laughs> that will be a very short video. <laughs> One, I'm going to go get some cake. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for us today, guys. I think um, I, I love all the tips that Milagro shared. I'm encouraged. You're going to see some new stuff go up on my YouTube channel as well. Um, and I would love to see the stuff that you guys are posting and sharing. I'm sure I'm really able to. So share with us. Let us know um, in the comments what videos you post. Even like, you know, if you do go out and you start your channel, you post your video, put a link to it in the comments box below. I am okay with that as long as it's Avon related and age appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> it comes from you. <laughs> yes. You what? Yes. Genuine. Yes. So yeah, we would love to see that on on our chat box, uh, your, yeah. your next video, and you know, give us give us a chance to help you get some followers as well. Yeah, we want to watch. And if you if you're not sure if you want to share a video, but you're not sure and you kind of want some critiques, post mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I, I think too sometimes hearing you know you're your always your worst critic. So sometimes you might post something and feel like it's horrible and you just need someone else to watch and be like, you know, that's great. Do it again. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you guys for being here and Georgiana. I see you, you Alondra. <laughs> next, next Thursday. We'll be here with you guys. Um, between 11 and 11, 15. Sometimes we got, get yeah. out little issues, but 11 ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thank you. Thank you, Georgia. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you all this week. Bye. <laughs>